I'm gonna talk a little bit about our load bank, one of the load banks that we have here, show the capabilities and how this guy operates. This is an ASCO two megawatt trailer mount load bank. Some of the key features on this guy are I can do 208 volt or 480 volt uh, systems. I've got a thousand foot of cable on each of the two reels for a total of 2000 foot in 50 foot length increments. As you can see right here on these reels, these are DC motor controlled. Um, so it's really nice when it comes down to break down and load up all the reels instead of having to bend over and hand roll them, we can just let the reel take care and, and do the work. When we get back to the shop, we just plug them into a battery tender until they go back out again. Here's one of the reels you can see. We've got uh, a good bit, bit of length of cable coming off. This is a, a 4 aught DLO, a diesel locomotive cable and that cable will handle 405 amps and it comes with uh, what's called cam lock twist lock connectors um, so they come apart and we can plug them into the load bank here and this load bank has it's pretty nice it's it's designed specifically to be a trailer mount there's side covers that go on the front panel right here so when you're traveling down the road bugs and dirt and whatever else doesn't get inside you can kind of see the two fans there's one on the bottom one on the top they're big three-phase motors that, that spin. So it does create a little bit of a noise when this guy runs. All the power is derived from whatever we're testing. So whether we're testing a generator or a UPS system or some other type of uh, electrical generation type system, all the power is derived from here. So we don't need any external or any inter internal control power uh, for logic controls or anything. Uh, the main control panel is located right here on the side. It's got a hinge door. And once we're hooked up to our power source, this guy will allow us to turn our, our logic on and then we can actually do load steps as high as 500 kW, 200 kW, 70 or 100, 50, 25, 10, and 5 kW. So it allows us to get down pretty, pretty tight resolution. So this is the back of the load bank. This is where all the hot air is gonna be discharged. So it's a, called a horizontal discharge versus a vertical, which would be straight up. Uh, so it gets pretty hot back here. So we have to have uh, a, a good bit of uh, area here for this hot air to vent through. Um, one of the reasons, you know, why people might ask, why do we load bank? Well, we load bank to test the electrical systems. Uh, most of these systems that we're testing are critical in nature. So uh, either a generator um, for emergency power systems or uh, a UPS system that provides battery backup power until the generator comes online. And some of these systems, you know, you might say, well, we got a brand new one. We just, just ordered a brand new one from the factory and, and they did factory testing on it. So it should be okay. Well, yeah, it, it should be, but it was tested at the factory. So um, now like the one that we're testing today has been installed, um, but it hasn't been tested um, once it's been installed. So you have input breakers that need to be tested. You've got uh, output distribution, transformers, um, uh, bypass panels, uh, the battery systems that you're actually using that are tied into the UPS. So we, we test the whole UPS system. And this is uh, one of the big uh, tools that we use to do it.